Hi everybody from Techno, so welcome to the dedicated focus on the Sony Xperia Z1 performances runs against some benchmark like Quadrant, Antutu, Epic Citadel and Speedtest.net. So let's start with the Quadrant, sorry, <laughs> let's start with the Quadrant. And while the benchmark is running, just let me remind you a few hardware specs of this device. We have the CPU, which is the uh, one well Snapdragon 800. It's a quad-core CPU clock at 2.2 GHz in this, into this uh, Sony Xperia Z1. And we have the GPU, which is the Adreno 330. And we have, of course, 2 GB of LPDDR3 memory. So we have, of course, uh, very high-end uh, specs for the Sony Xperia Z1. The display is a 5 inches diagonal and <coughs> sorry, it has a full HD resolution, so it's a very high resolution display. Let's see the score for this quadrant, and we score 20,601, so very high score for this uh, Sony Xperia Z1. So now let's see Antutu. You know, I've already run this benchmark, so let's run together once more. Okay, so we have the score for this Sony Xperia Z1, which is 13,428, so very high score, even a little bit higher than what we scored with the um, LG G2, which has um, higher clocked CPU at 2.3 GHz, while here we have 2.2 GHz CPU. So, the for what concern in graphical performances, the last test I want to show you is this Epic Citadel. Here we go. Let, let me zoom a little bit just to uh, have you a better view. To give you a better view, sorry guys. So, let's uh, wait for the test to run. Here we go. And I want to just show you that into the settings I've already set up the graphical details through ultra high quality, so the maximum possible quality and resolution to 100% H. So we can start the test. <coughs> Sorry. And let's see what result we have for this Sony Xperia Z1. So I used to run this benchmark uh, on many devices. And I must admit that it's such a pleasure to finally see it running so fast and so smooth. It's really, really incredible. I can even see sometimes that there's, a, a, you know, a, an average frame rate even more than a hundred frames per second. So that's that's really incredible. It's extremely speedy. This means that the Snapdragon 800 architecture together with the Adreno 330 is a very, very good, you know, 3D platform. Uh, I mean, Epic Citadel is a benchmark um, running the Unreal Engine, which is well known for being used in several games. So, I mean, it's very, very interesting to see that these devices using Snapdragon 800 are so fast in running these kind of benchmarks so as you can see we don't have any kind of problem even this you know part of the benchmark that usually uh, give me a few frames per second on other devices very very good so let's wait for a few more seconds to see the final result for the Sony Xperia Z1 we have almost done and here we go in a few seconds okay here we go 55.6 average frame per second very very good result for the Sony Xperia Z1 which I do remind you having full HD screen as you can read here is a 1800 for 1080 just because we have the navigation bar with still some some 
<coughs> sorry, pixel from the overall resolution. And now let's test the speed of this device for what concerns LTE connectivity. If we go with the speedtest.net benchmark, and I will let you see in a few seconds that I'm running this benchmark using this over the same server, which is the one you know used by H3G, which is indeed my own carrier. So let's run the benchmark. Here we go. Of course, this kind of benchmark do heavily, you know, uh, are heavily based on network. So it means that if the network is too busy, we won't get that high result. And this is what I'm expecting because one, this is one of the few days that I'm able to run uh, this benchmark during daylight because I usually run this benchmark at night. So I'm not expecting here very high result. You know, another thing that I noticed during this past month is that since I started testing LTE speed back in March uh, 2013, <coughs> the, these benchmarks were extremely speedy. That was because there were so few people, you know, running LTE connectivity that the, the, the network was always free, always fast, always responsive. Nowadays, more and more people every day start using LTE connectivity and thus the speed, you know, slow down a bit. Anyway, in a few seconds I will uh, show you that I've run this benchmark at night and at least we have a slightly better speed than what we can achieve right now. So this is the last one for now and I will show you the result that I had at night. So here we go. As you may see we even reached 60 megabit per second in download speed and uh, you know it's always the same speed in upload speed which is around 10 megabit per second in upload speed. Anyway good result but I'm sure that this device can do even better than this. It depends of course all on how the network is busy. So for what concerns this uh, benchmark, uh, this sorry focus dedicated on the performance for the Sony Xperia Z1, that's all. What's more, thanks for watching and bye from Technolost.